heat waves, droughts, floods, wildfires. We witnessed increasing climate-related extremes across the globe in 2022. These natural events are not directly caused by global warming, but yet are aggravated by it. The general consensus points towards slowing the global warming trend by reducing carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions. As China's largest economy with a population of over 24 million, Shanghai expects its carbon emissions to peak by 2030. Meanwhile, carbon emissions per unit of the city's GDP will drop by 70% compared to 2005. How will Shanghai achieve this goal? Let's explain. Work will be done in four major fields, energy sourcing, industry, transportation, and construction. The first step is developing renewable energy other than fossil fuels. Photovoltaic and wind power facilities are being installed, especially in coastal areas. By 2025, the percentage of coal in primary energy consumption will drop to 30%, and renewable energy is expected to account for 20%. Second, Shanghai regards the carbon shift as an opportunity to upgrade traditional facilities and to take the lead in growing green industries. Baowu, China's largest iron and steel company, has halved its energy consumption per ton of steel compared to 20 years ago. In 2021, the National Carbon Emissions Trading Market was launched. China surpassed the EU as the world's largest carbon market. Shanghai has assumed the role of China's trading center and included major carbon emission sectors such as steel, chemical, and aviation. The city also exports its new energy technology. For instance, Shanghai Electric is building one of the world's largest solar photovoltaic facilities in Dubai. Green transportation is the third key point. The number of new energy vehicles in Shanghai reached 945,000 by 2022, accounting for nearly 20% of all automobiles. The first hydrogen energy bus line in China started operation last year in Shanghai's Lingang area. By 2025, about 10,000 buses and sanitation vehicles will be powered by hydrogen energy. Some 70 hydrogen refueling stations will be built. Energy-saving buildings are an integral part of the city's low-carbon revolution, too. Shanghai Center, the world's third tallest building, is also a green building. As was begun in 2022, more than half of the roofs of newly built construction projects will be installed with photovoltaic facilities. By 2025, the energy-saving renovation of 30 million square meters of existing buildings will be completed. To encourage a low-carbon lifestyle, the city plans to promote carbon credits among its residents. When residents reduce carbon dioxide emissions, they will get credit points. The points can be traded in the carbon market or spent on e-commerce platforms. Shanghai will continue to be a GDP powerhouse for China. Meanwhile, it is also aiming for high quality and sustainable development.